New on the night beat, family and friends on the east side coming together to remember 23-year-old Anthony Coronado. Loved ones held a barbecue benefit and vigil just two weeks after Coronado was shot and killed by his neighbor at a home in the 1000 block of Piedmont. The night team's Bill Barajas was there as loved ones shared memories and tears over what they say is a life taken too soon. They've been at it all day. Together, family and friends helped raise money with a plate sale. Money for Anthony Coronados' girlfriend, an unborn child. And they've been having a rosary, you know, all week and things like that. So I just thought, well, let's make a benefit. So it's been hard all week, but I just said, well, you know what? Last minute thing, let's do it. As the sunlight faded, they lit candles, said prayers, and shared memories. Coronado was only 23, and loved ones say to them, He'll never truly be gone. As a body, you're gone, but spirit is still here. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be here. So I know he's taking care of me now. Taking care of everybody, especially his mama. Cornado was shot and killed by his neighbor. Ernesto Varela, a close friend, says he, Cornado, and two other people were in the front yard drinking when 72 year old Nathaniel Wesley Ward III told him to move. When they refused, Ward pulled a gun and fired multiple shots, hitting Coronado in the head. Varela still remembers it as if it were yesterday. When, when you're hurting, you gotta, put, you gotta get together. You know what I'm saying? That's all I know. Varela says Coronado's memory will live on through his family in France. This makeshift memorial now stands near the area Coronado took his final breath. Varela plans to make it permanent, a sign of respect, which was the basis of their friendship. On the east side, Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News. After questioning, police charged Nathaniel Wesley Ward III with murder.